It's estimated that between 60 and 70 per cent of Australians will suffer serious back pain at some stage during their lives at a cost of the community of up to $9 billion annually. With huge demand for ways to prevent or reduce the problem, the Austin Hospital in Melbourne is beginning a 12-month trial of a revolutionary device which is described as a physiotherapist in your pocket. The back strain uh, monitors, uh, monitor empowers patients by giving them instant feedback when poor posture is putting strain on their spine and guiding them in how to correct it. Natasha Johnson reports. Are you gonna help mummy pack up Bending, <laughs> lifting, <Ooh>. carrying. <laughs> we'll put your jacket on. It's all in a day's work for mother of two, Erin Ghazi. But with a bulging disc from a car accident 10 years ago, just caring for her kids caused paralysing back pain she likens to childbirth. The pain just makes me drop to the ground or if I'm weeding or bending over, I'll literally get stuck. So my husband will have to come and either carry me or straighten me up and, and lie me down for, and I can't walk for two days. So the pain is just immediate and it um, just feels like somebody's knifing me in the back. Erin Ghazi relied on four to six anti-inflammatory painkillers to get through every day until she tried this innovative back strain monitor being trialled by Austin Health in Melbourne under a Victorian government grant. Sensors attached to the back measure movement and muscle activity and transmit information to a handheld device which beeps and buzzes when the patient is putting strain on their spine. You see it's getting all those red arrows come back up again and it'll make a buzzing sound. Coloured arrows give instant feedback and help guide the patient into a better posture. When you sit and you start to slump, the red arrows will start to creep up and that'll remind you that the slumped sitting is not the best place for you. It's very effective because it's like a, having a mini physiotherapist in your pocket. Gently just pull your tummy in, that's it, that's perfect. And you can see the arrows disappear yeah. and your back goes into a more neutral position. Most of my activities, um, even sitting in the car, were in the red, meaning that I was overextending my back without even realising it. With the device and I can see exactly the position and the muscles that I'm supposed to be using, it just makes it a lot easier. The back strain monitor is the brainchild of Andrew Ronke, a Melbourne physio, and his brother Dan, who've spent 10 years and $400,000 on development. Physios usually rely on their eyes and patient feedback to assess postural problems, but this device, worn for 12 to 24 hours, produces an objective record of the patient's daily activities and movements away from the physio's consultation. People, when they're watched and observed in that clinical environment, don't move the way they normally do. And so I wanted a way of being able to um, understand and appreciate their movements when I wasn't there. The data can be analysed to assess how they're straining their back even when not aware of it, as shown by this assessment of a labourer. The worker felt from his perspective that this was an easier day than normal and his back wasn't under any pressure, but clearly it, it represents uh, highly provocative activity. So if he continued to work in that way, there'd be a far higher chance that he'd injure his lumbar spine. The device also hooks up to a computer screen showing two dots patients have to bring together by making subtle movements. And what we're seeing here is you're standing in a reasonably good position. The two dots are very close to each other. Imagine you are doing that sway back standing. Have a look at what happens to the dots. Wow. Physiotherapists can use this to help patients identify muscles they need to strengthen to support their back teach them exercises and then test whether the techniques are working. See, it doesn't feel like that much of a difference when you do the movement, but when you can see it on the screen, it's uh, inc incredible. I think it's fairly revolutionary, really. The concepts are not. Pilates and Feldenkrais and Alexander Technique have all tried to change the way that people move. But for the first time, we actually have a technology that can um, demonstrate movement patterns, memorise those patterns of movements with a computer and to compare them before and after uh, various interventions. If proven to be effective, the device has huge potential in preventing or reducing workplace injuries and falls in the elderly or improving training for elite athletes. AFL Club Richmond is trialling the monitor, which can also measure muscle movement in other parts of the body to try to pinpoint players at risk. If we can
quantify the data on each athlete um, and really analyse what uh, areas are, are deficient, um, then we can intervene with specific programming to improve those areas of deficiency and therefore prevent injury and hopefully optimise performance. Back pain is often a recurring problem. The device is currently worn once a week over 10 weeks and the 12-month trial of 300 patients will investigate its effectiveness in achieving lasting change. 60 to 70 per cent of all adults will have back pain at least once during their life where they have to see the doctor or have to take some time off work. We have up to $9 billion a year dedicated towards all sorts of aspects of managing low back pain. I think it's probably the most common of the musculoskeletal injuries that GPs see. So it's a huge problem. But Erin Ghazi is now off medication and mostly pain-free. It's fantastic not to be in pain. Hello, hello. My name's Rocky. For me, it was incredibly beneficial because it's just changed my whole lifestyle. Natasha Johnson with that report.